if you have this combination here of the DJI Mini 3 Pro and the new DJI RC and you have been having problems uh, with this controller crashing um, after the latest firmware update well good news there is a new one and it's offering to fix exactly that so let's take a look into it <laughs> So I'm going to put the drone to a side because none of this video is to do with the DJI Mini 3 Pro, it's all to do with this controller. So DJI have given us version 01, 010100, okay, and this new firmware update promises various uh, fixes. More to do with, as you can see on screen, uh, the apparent crashing uh, when in extended use, uh, and also an issue when it comes to the SD card reading uh, uh, being sort of slow write speeds etc which may have contributed towards jumpy footage okay and also something to do with uh issues when playing back footage on this controller as well. Now one thing to mention is this firmware update will also level up the DJI Fly app versions. As we know 1.6.9 has been here uh, for over a week now for Android and iOS users uh, whereas this was stuck on 1.6.8 and within this sort of RC firmware bundle we can see we also update to 1.6.9. Now I most certainly do not want to be all doom and gloom when it comes to this this drone and this RC controller but one thing that I was curious as to um, one of the major fixes regarding the uh, controller crashing under extended use DJI claim now as far as I'm concerned it's not particularly crashing under extended use it's more down to the fact that when it is used near enough um, in a flight mode if you wish uh, where it's taking up a lot of computing power or processing power you see for me um, this controller is absolutely ideal for those uh, that want a quick solution but it's not the best when it comes to actual processing power and I think that there is no coincidence that when DJI launched the last update for this allowing support for the DJI Mavic 3 that was when the problem started I personally felt that uh, what they implemented on the controller on that update is what has actually tipped it over the edge more than anything else so I was curious as to whether or I am curious if you wish as to what they might well have done with this update that might well um, actually fix that problem with just firmware when I personally um, could be wrong don't shoot the messenger just my own personal thoughts think it is more down to the limitation in the hardware on this device itself so, you know, all of those of you that have been suffering uh, with the app crashing whilst in flight and I've heard some absolute horror stories and some of you have been lucky to get your drone back when that has actually happened, okay, um, I, for me, as far as I'm concerned, I want you guys to actually let me know to see if this firmware update has actually fixed it for yourself. Now, because of my suspicions, okay, um, in terms of the hardware limitations on this device, I, after this update version, have been uh, going thoroughly uh, through the menus just to see, um, call me a cynic if you wish, to see if anything has been taken away um, and I cannot see anything. Uh, by the same token, I've also been going through the app 1.6.9 as well and all of the menus new systems when it comes to this controller and of course the Mini 3 and again I can say that from what I have seen I have noticed no difference however one thing I will say is I've not fully uh, managed to uh, stress test this combination yet and that is very simple because the weather is certainly not right to be able to take a mini drone up at the moment it is uh, well beyond its capabilities in terms of wind uh, plus you know you're not supposed to get electronics wet and I'm pretty sure it's going to downpour again any moment so not a good idea but of course I will sort of test over the next few days and report back but I just wanted to let you know um, that there is this firmware uh, update for the RC and of course the new DJI Fly app 1.6.9 and if you do continue to suffer any of the issues that DJI claim they are fixed please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and feedback to me like I say just to repeat myself um, when it comes to this piece of machinery crashing the reason why I haven't actually reported it on my channel is because it hasn't actually been doing it for me so I can only present what I find okay but I am fully aware uh, that just because I haven't had it many of you have so that wraps up this one more of an awareness video and i will follow it up with a flight over the next few days and just see if i notice
notice anything different but because there's no firmware update on this okay from what i have seen of what little flying i've just done with this i've seen no issues um with the 1.6.9 okay so until next time thank you very much for watching don't forget to hit that thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're awesome until next time see you again soon